Mari's nectarines and honey are just so gorgeous. I really don't want to do too much with them. So I thought I'd do a bit of a savory dish. I love halloumi and this halloumi is from the Barossa Valley. So it doesn't get any fresher than this, but I love its salty, slightly squeaky flavor. That paired with the sweetness and freshness of Mari's gorgeous nectarines, Oh, I love the smell of them, with some honey lemon and oregano is all it needs to make a real standout dish. So let's get our halloumi into the pan. So for the halloumi, we just want to slice it. I'm going to get nice big chunky bits of the halloumi. So a really sharp knife and we'll cut them into large pieces. And you can see when they make halloumi, it's folded. So you'll see that little crease in there. So we're gonna to try to hold its shape. Once this is nice and warm, you don't want it to be too hot and you don't want it to be too cool because you do want it to cook all the way through to the center. So it does warm up the cheese, but we also want it to be really crispy on the outside. So for that golden color, we'll use some extra virgin olive oil and then in with our little rectangles of halloumi. And that's just going to take just a minute, not even on each side. So while that's cooking, let's prepare the nectarine. I'll get one of the ripe ones. The smell, the smell of the warmer months. I just adore it. And I'm just going to cut them in half. This one is perfectly ripe. You don't want to be too soft and you don't want to be too firm. And look at the colors. It's just like the perfect Barossa sunrise right there. Now I'm gonna cut this into just wedges and we'll take the seed out. So you know they're perfectly ripe when that stone comes out really easily. And again, we'll cut it into little wedges. Right, let's turn the halloumi. It's gonna be sticky and gooey. Oh, perfect color, perfect crust. Let's turn this one. Beautiful. That just needs just a moment on that side, but while that's cooking, I'm going to add our gorgeous nectarines. I could put this on the dish raw, but I just want just a little bit of warmth through them. And just to tie this all together, Mari's gorgeous honey. I'll grab a spoon and I'll just dip that spoon in and drizzle that over the halloumi. Two more ingredients, a pinch of dried oregano and fresh lemon. And we'll just drizzle that on top. Oh. And just automatically, as soon as you add that lemon, all of the flavors, you can just smell them together. That's it. That's all you need for this perfect dish. So onto a plate. We'll start with our gooey and crunchy bits of halloumi and we'll just scatter them around the plate. You know this is good halloumi because it's not holding its shape perfectly. It's sort of a little bit gnarly. Gnarly's tasty. And last one. So pop that in the center, grab a spoon, and we'll add our honeyed nectarines over the top. And because halloumi is so salty, and this honey is just so good, I just wanna add another drizzle of that over the top, just so it glistens. Is it the prettiest dish? No. Is it the tastiest? Absolutely. It's the combination, putting it all together. You can't eat it separately. You have to have a little bit of the halloumi and that nectarine. Pop that together. Mmm, mmm. It's like sweet, salty, slightly acidic from the lemon. It's like the ultimate flavour bomb. Mm.